hello guys welcome to my youtube channel on this video we are going to handle this question in basic mech that is mechanics in engineering so this is a question given to us for us to handle this uses that is replaced replace the force system by resultant by a resultant force and a couple movement at O. so what you are supposed to do here is we are going to find the resultant of this yeah each force you are going to put all the force together and find the resultants by finding the x component and the y component of both after we are supposed to find the moment at O. this is the moment at O. please if you've not subscribed please check the subscription button and hit the subscription button so let's start with this so with a question like this you try analyzing something here the angle was not given, but they gave us the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite with a force of 500 newtons. So what you're supposed to do is that you try resolving it in y and x component. As you know, x component deals with cos. So when resolving this in the x component will be 500 newton, and cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That will be 3 over 5, and you get answer. So let's start. So now for us to find the resultant force, we need to find the x component. So we're finding the sum of forces in any direction. We're going to have, that is 500 Newton times 3 over 5 plus 200 Newton minus 200 Newton. Now, this is a couple. They act in the opposite direction with the same magnitude. So it will cancel each other. So we're not going to have it to be zero. Now we have the force. Let's check here. Say 500 Newton times 3 over 5. So it's 500 Newton and we are using cos, which is opposite uh, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse with a 3 over 5. So, when we do that correct, we are going to get 300 newton. That is, we using the opposite, uh, sorry, the adjacent over the hypotenuse plus this is moving in the negative S component and this is moving the positive S component. So, to cancel, we're going to get 300 newton. After we are going to resolve it in the S component, that is. Sorry, this is not supposed to be equal to zero. This is um. So we are finding the sum of forces in y direction. So we finding the sum of forces in y direction. You know that this force is moving in the negative y direction. This can be resolved because the force will be having two components. One will move in this way. One will be moving this way. With the arrow, this one pointing up this side, and with this arrow pointing this side. So actually the force here also will be positive. So we are going to get that is 500 newton times 4 over 5 since it's positive minus 750 newton. It's moving here. So 750 newton. When do the correct way? We are going to get negative 350 newton. This simply shows that this should have moved in the opposite direction. So the negative there is showing us that it's just showing us the direction in which the sum of forces of the y component should move. Now, when we are done with this, we need to find the signs. We finding the signs. Okay, for us to find the sign, we need to find the resultant. That is taking um the resultant that will be square root of 300 squared plus square root of negative 350 newton squared, and we will get our resultant to be 460.79.97 newton. That is the resultant for this force. So that is the first question we've solved now by the resultant force so now we have the resultant force to be 460.97 newton now we should find the sense you know the sense is that is phi is equal to tan inverse of the y sum of forces in y component over the sum of forces in s component which will give you 49.3 degrees so we are done with the resultant so now let's go to the moment that is the couple moment at point o with a couple moment at point O, you know that this force is moving here. We are taking our anticlockwise to be positive. So our anticlockwise is positive. So let's resolve them one by one. So now we have negative 750 newton times 1.25 meters. So this force is moving here. So automatically to move in the clockwise direction. And the distance it's made is 1.25 meters to O. We have that minus 300 newton that is 300 newton when we resolve the s component it is moving here and to move in the and in the clockwise direction with a distance of 
one meters. So it will move in the what the clockwise direction, the distance of one meters. And after we move on to the 400 newton, which is moving up now automatically for this force to get to O, you need to move in the anti-clockwise direction, which is positive. And we move on to the negative. This is a couple. Now, when the couple is given to us, forget about one couple and use one. So we try forgetting about this couple and we use only one of the forces. So we can use any of these, but you can choose your choice by using this to be precise. You know that this also is moving in there. S component that is it's moving the same as how we solve this so that wants you to be negative 200 Newton and it is moving in the clockwise direction to O which is what one what meters now when you do that the correct way you're going to get the couple moment at O should be um, negative 437.5 Newton meters which will give you uh, the couple moment at O should be um, to be 137.5 newton meters clockwise because of the negative sign thank you very much for watching this